Oh, what is up, folks? We are back. But I need to update this stuff. Welcome to the final night, uh, or the final match of the night for Intercollegiate Slippy. Um, we're going to be seeing another crew that I think would be a ton of fun to watch. UC San Diego versus University of California, Los Angeles. So our West Coast, late night. It's We're getting late for East Coast time, but it's only 6 p.m. over there, so... Oh, one of the excited. players being like, I'm not bra broadcasting, <laughs> are you? And I'm like, but wait, they are broadcasting. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, lucky, sorry, I totally got up and walked away to get more water. No, Lucky is doing the double shift right here, being both producer and commentator and organizing all the active crew battles here. So give them some slack while I introduce, you know, these two crews. I don't have their records up in front of me, but... I'm looking at UCLA's character distribution. We've got three sheets and two foxes. What is going on there? Well, meanwhile, right. on UC San Diego's crew, we've got a full... That's literally the top six characters minus Sheik, I think. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, we've got duplicates on Fox. But two foxes, one Mark, a Puff, and Falco. So well, a well-bounced crew versus a very... You know, very chic, heavy. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I, it's funny that they nicknamed you. themselves "You Chic LA." <laughs> oh my god, that's why they're that's why they spam that in chat. Yeah, that's, what? Go! <laughs> I mean, I wasn't. I thought that was just like they're just mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait. Let me figure out who's playing. Oh, Dakoko's playing neutral. So while Lucky pulls up, you know, are they starting on fountain? Uh, battlefield. But I think this is warm up. So this is, and we're watching. Okay, so UCLA, I believe, is um three. Oh, okay. So I believe UCLA has played three matches. And won two of them, while UC San Diego is uh, three and three right now. I mean, played three, won one three. So yeah. it's an undefeated team. Only you know. Only wait, one, which one? UCLA two. or UCSD? Uh, UCSD is undefeated, having won all three games they have played. While UCLA has played three games, but only won two of them. They lost one. I did so, not realize UCSD was. Yeah, wait, they're the they're the fourth team. They are no. Yeah, they're in a number five slot, which is Oh yeah, number four slot, excuse me. Um Yeah, I didn't they played like a couple less they played one less match than some of the than what what is that? GT, Georgia Institute of Technology, who's in our number one slot right now. Mm-hmm. But I guess, you know, if they go undefeated, if they win this match here and go four for four, that'd be that'd be pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. But UCLA is by no means, they're not tailing far behind. They've only just lost one game and we're still early into this circuit. Yeah, we are. But we're going to go right into game one. We're going to see which team is going to get the momentum first. Yeah, Fox. Fox ditto to start. Honestly, if I'm... The thing is, what I worry about for when I see a crew that has, like, very unbalanced, like, I, like this one's all Duke and Fox, I feel like you really want to win the counter pick advantage off of this first game. So I would send in, a, like, I would send in one of your better players first. Maybe not the best, but definitely one of the better ones. Well, definitely the way I feel it's going to play out is that they're, Marth is probably going to get sent in for one of the foxes, and then the Sheik is going to immediately counterpick the Marth. <laughs> so yeah, you're right, the Marth might not get a ton of life, kind of looking forward to, into his crew battle. But Jeff is able to take the first stock from, UC, from yes. UCLA. One cleanly. huge up smash. A rivalry of characters we're watching right here. Oh, and 
just unfortunate DI in that situation, and one ends up you go you know, way below the stage and can't oh. recover. Oh my gosh! To Coco, punish opportunity what with the punish. Here? Not not quite a full punish, but a little percent. UCSD chance coming out in chat. And yeah, if you're to Coco, you really want to close out the stock here. Yep, that'll do it. And you, as to Coco, you just want to make sure that you're trying to like stay as even as possible. If you can just take two more and then you lose your two, that's that's fine, even if your team's that's, down a stock. Yeah, it might not right. Because early in the game, you know, early in this Cruder Hall match, that oh my gosh, Shine so vicious, deletes a whole stock, and like without the need of full combo. God, it's Danny Delito. <laughs> but yeah, Dakoko really needs to take at least one more here. You know, you don't want to send in your number two person. Um, it's already a three stock lead. Almost like your match didn't happen. Oh my god, and, and Jeff right now with this momentum. Just combo, combo. Oh. The back air, that was death. Suffocating him. And just as we feared, like, Jeff is like, able Like, chill, to... you're both from California. Put some respect on each other. <laughs> you're both Fox Slayers from California. Why you gotta do them dirty like that? But, you know, this is crew battles. You, you want to destroy your opponent. You don't want to be a gentleman and leave it close. So good job by Jeff to take the first game, secure the counter pick advantage, and retain three of your stocks. That's that's the start you want to see if you ECSD, and it's starting to explain why they're undefeated. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the follow, Rice Boy One One Seven, the Master Chief number. So if you're Yushik LA, who? Who are you sending in? Are you spending your? I'm sending a Sheik right in. Now? I'm not sending in another Fox against that. I think you learn from that. You say, "All right, we'll send this a Sheik now. Yeah. Let the Sheik play around, see how that goes. And if that really doesn't work out, you send in another Fox." Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, I like that logic. I mean, you got three Sheiks. Well, what else would yeah. you say? So they're sending in fifty-two percent. So Lucky, I know that PhD's Nuts is a hard hitter, but I don't think I know much about the rest of the crew. Sorry, doing broadcast. Okay. Actually, wait, I'm thinking of Dr. Dick actually mistaking him with PhD's Nuts, who have surprisingly similar names. If you guys in the circuit have got some, some funny tags. We've got, we had uh, big zebra balls earlier. Oh, no, giant, today. giant, not just not giant, just big, yeah. giant. Oh, one step up from big. Yeah, we got. I, I love how he goes by um, GZB. GB's, GZB. Doesn't as tell if anyone. Anyone would ever guess that. Got PhDs nuts. Got, <laughs> got him. <laughs> the professors from the School of Hard Knocks, as, as Sandra put it. But yeah, I think I've seen him put on a good performance, you know, in earlier weeks of Slippy. So maybe he's going to be safe for a later position. Mm -hmm. All right, it sounds like they'll be connecting shortly, and we'll see. But UCSD right now already showing that they are the favored team to win this one, taking a quick three-stock lead on the first characters. Yeah. That's... And that's like, you know, some... I like, I really like to see the crews with a balanced character set. PhD's nuts. I'm pretty sure all I've done is take one Ganon stock and then get chain grabbed by Foxy Grandpa. That's okay. Foxy Grandpa is pretty disgusting. A yeah. little disgusting in the fact that he'll, he'll shamelessly chain grab you because it's screwed yeah, up. Yes. Oh, you know, I, I mean... If you got the chain grabs, you chain grab them. Yeah, I mean, there's no shame. You play for your team, especially because their team, like, Vassar was generally down when Foxy had to do that. Yeah. Some quick warm-ups right here. Lucky, do we know what stage we're going into for the panel? 
Uh, nope. No clue. They have not figured it out. We will, we will find out together, Storm. Really happy that you all are joining here, joining us on Intercool and Slope Real and our big tournament is going on right now. But always hype to see some collegiate ball taking a break with us, maybe multi twitching. If you haven't followed the channel, please do. And, you know, if you can subscribe, that'd be great. But what might be easier is if you check it out. on the subscribe button. If you scroll down, you'll see something called your Twitch Prime sub if you have Amazon Prime. Um, if that's available, feel free to use it on us. All the money goes back to the players. It's part of the prize pot for the end of the top eight bracket. So, you know, Lucky and I are not taking a rake as TOs. It's all, it's all for you guys. So we're just trying to have some fun, get colleges playing. You know, we're always happy for the support. We should get both of them going into it just any second. I wonder though, is you is Yushik LA like is this their preferred character lineup? Or do they have some other people on the bench to introduce some character diversity? Yeah. Or they're uh, just trying to show us a, a new meta. New meta? New I meta. would love to see it if, you know, you've got the crew of three puffs and two foxes or something crazy like that. <laughs> and they just destroy everybody else. The times of Marths and Falcos has passed. <laughs> ah, so we've got PhDs letting us know in chat that Falco. Well, I think they're starting <laughs> right now. Two foxes on the bench. Yeah, wow. I guess. is just super eager to get into it. They just, they're like, I don't know. We, we have dinner. We want to get out of here. <laughs> Let's make this quick. Yeah, no warm-up games necessary. I got a hot date. Hot date. Uh, it could be really funny if... Oh! oh, oh. Okay. But 52% says, no, no, no. You still gotta, you gotta play it out. <laughs> hey, you chic LA. I like those needles. Let's go. I hope they're all like chic philosophers and they like trade the knowledge with each other. Like, oh, oh yeah. Dude, we should like, forward to that oh, my whatever. god, those wave shines. You know, maybe if they threw in one more, that might have killed. Oh, oh but they get the great edge guard. Or edge hog. Oh my god. Are we gonna see more wave shines? I feel like Jeff can do it. Jeff see the and... opener. You know, this is an exciting game to watch so far, but really if you're if you're fifty two percent, you need to you need to delete Jeff. You need to narrow back up. Oh no. Movement. Scary situation for Sheep, but gets back. Finally has Fox has to catch points if you're saying see if we can get some knockdowns. Good DI though. Eat up the box oh no, but not good oh. side B. That's what made up B, I can tell. Oh, I have yet to see somebody use the chain in a like purposeful way for yeah. like, in during the spring circuit yet. I agree. Or yeah, in a way that's on. like actually like more optimal than your other options. You know. That's Maybe not true. the most optimal, but like better than the other stuff you could do. It's been a long time since I've even seen the chain come in like out in professional tournaments. Like, I feel like M2K yeah. was the only one who had ever even. And it was very mocking. It was never like a actually using the move. Yeah, the chain is BM. <laughs> so, I don't know which one's more PM, the chain or Zelda. But imagine if you could walk around with a chain like Min Min. <laughs> I have never played a second Min Min. Oh, it's just I like big, big, big arms, like big swingy, like flailing objects. It's like attaching two swords to your arms in Smash. That's, that's incredible. Wait, oh. Oh, does not get, you know, Jill Shine up smash. Instead, giving 52% a second chance to sort of close out the stock, and that's what he needs, but that's not the correct tech chase for We're gonna go back into some neutral. Okay, great shine up smash. And yeah, good job by Jack. Unfortunately, it's looking a little bit weaker for UCLA. Is but Jeff trying to do it? Is Jeff trying to take eight stocks right now? He's really trying to do it. If you're if you're 52%, just shake it off right here. 
There you go. There you go. Hey. Oh, oh they did. They upbeat a little too late. I was nervous. I was. I was getting a little bit. Nervous. All right. So UCSD is gonna lose their first player, but uh, they yeah, still got after... a three stock lead. Yeah, seven stocks is a great batting average in spring circuit, or really any crew battles. So good job, to Jeff. Definitely pulled his weight, and. You know, you get your counter pick choice. I'm expecting maybe Cliche or Mojo to come in right here. I feel like that makes some yeah. sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Or actually, even the even Khaled. I'm just really not expecting maybe. Red Panda Master to go in right now. Yeah, yeah, anybody but him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even not for the sake of the matchup, even for the sake of fun. I feel like for Marth, it you feel like you have less fun because it's so much harder to like get your follow ups. Yeah. Feels like Bear. You know, um, edge guarding tree is so much easier than your edge guarding tree. Took a peek over at, you know, Four Loco. Game five, SDJ Kalamazoo, winner's finals. Uh, lucky I cannot. Yeah, I know. Oh. I, had to, I had to talk to someone else in real life. Uh, oh. <laughs> I was like, wait yes. a minute. Am I, am I bugging? I was like, but, yeah, Chet, who do you want to see go in, other than, you know, the people who are on the CSD crew? And I'd also love to hear, you know, who you want to see win for Lincoln Fight Night. All right, we're... Just okay, so Red Panda Master is going in, and I was totally wrong. Also, are Whoa. you reading active crew battle chat so you can also see when players are saying when they're going in? Uh, I have it in sometimes, but I'll put it on right now. What are you saying? Okay, so we've got 52% is banning FD, makes sense, you know, as the sheep player. And yeah, I guess you know, maybe UCSD is just saying. Maybe they're so confident that like, look, let's just have some fun with this. I mean, some Marths some like Marth this. Some, a lot of Marths dislike this, but and this could. And some Marths do like this, so won't put it past I feel them. Like you're a, a little bit of a sadistic Marth if you like Marth Sheik, yeah. or if you like a real challenge. <laughs> or yeah, you know, you're the true journeyman. I'm just trying to get better. So FD band going stadium. You know, if you're, if you as a Marth player like playing against Sheik, does that mean you think Marth has all winning matchups except for maybe even versus Fox? Oh yeah, well I think Fox wins it 55-45 at the highest level. At our level, I think Marth wins it just because execution yeah. doesn't have to be as precise as the Fox. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I, I, I have difference. But I, generally, for the most part, I feel like Marth has mostly just winning matchups all around. I don't really think there's like besides potentially Sheik and Fox, and that's very like level dependent. Yeah, I definitely agree that that whole matchup chart shifts as along with the skill level of the players. But yeah, feels. Things when I, I so I played Marth before I played Yaka, and I just liked how Marth. Yeah, it felt like there's such a good amount of information online to study up for Mars like ledge guard trees and the patterns. Oh yeah. And it just felt like really it felt really great because it's like the more you study translated into like quickly learning very lethal edge guard patterns. Yeah, like that's a main component of Mars gameplay. Whereas like as Falco, the first thing you learn is like Oh, combo on stage. You love killer combos, but sometimes your killer combos don't always lead to really, like kills. Going into this, um, if you're Red Panda Master, you want you want to kill 52% and not lose anything. And oh, beautiful combo! Now oh, we know why gosh. Red Panda Master went in. That was a, a 40 second match. That's really go. fast. <laughs> and well, not even because they had to drop stocks, right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. That was one exchange. That was yeah. probably like a 20 second exchange, <laughs> at most. Dominating. 
and you know most likely red panda master is gonna get another sheik say give me another one right here i'd be shocked if ty were to go in from ucla mm -hmm. okay we're about to see who um, they're gonna send in uh yeah so Suvir is going in. Suvir is going in. So saving the doctor for maybe the anchor position. We will see shortly. While I have you all in the stream, though, if you do not know, from March 27th to 28th, Saturday and Sunday, we have partnered with EMG and Durham College to bring you a separate event, the Collegiate Smash Showdown. It's a two-day melee cruise tournament um, open to full and part-time students the teams are in teams of four so a little bit different of a format from spring circuit but we think it'll be a really fun event we want you to sign up if you want more information we have a channel in our discord about it and you can also go to smash gg slash css 2021 it's a really good crew, fun crew event hoping to see you all out there We've integrated it into our spring circuit, so you know, don't worry about you know, double booking your team. They'll be fine. So count the results in that will count for the results in spring circuit. But yeah, it's a fun opportunity. Get on the EMG stream, maybe win some money if you do as well. Right, looks we're gonna get started shortly. Red Panda Master on the left with the Marth. Going right in. I think we are go banning Dreamland going FOD. Lucky, do you think? I mean, okay, so what are your predictions for this round? You think you think Red Panda Master is gonna tear up this sheet? Like he tore up that one stock. Surprise okay, we're loading in right now. Yeah, no worries. See, I didn't forgot that this one goes in just four to four. And Red Panda Master is he's looking just as good as he was against fifty two percent. Taking nothing. What's up that ledge card right there? She's gonna have an opportunity at one percent. Maybe get there, but not quite. Oh my beautiful. Great awareness to know that I've had. I don't wanna send in at the normal until just for letting the base it. Try to get an match and really go off. And yeah, Red, and now I think we're all understanding why Red Planet the Master is going in versus Sheik. His brilliancy is not just, it's, it's just great. Yeah, I mean, we still have yet to see a Sheik take a stock. God, no, that's, that's a little bit crazy to say that, but you're right. I mean, we, this Marth has already taken two Sheik stocks and is now like going hard on this next one. Oh my God! Uh -oh. oh no, they fast fell. Oh, clip up until the Marth misses the up B. <laughs> but still, oh my goodness. he's he's on his sixth Sheik stock. He's saying, "Look, give me eight. Oh my give God, Red 12, Panda likes this matchup. Holy cow! <laughs> And oh, great! Oh my great god! Job right to stay okay. alive, but Look, I still got to tell you, the sheiks haven't away. taken a stock. Red Panda <laughs> took that from <laughs> himself. Away. And it isn't even like he's only taken eleven percent, a little bit more now. But yeah, well, I mean, he took like eighty percent on that first stock after he SD'd, or before he SD'd, but you know, and still in now, theory, they haven't taken a that. stock. This is captious, gross, but. Sevier is gonna have a, like a good chance right now. Oh Stuck no, that like, platform got in the way of a potential fun. Ken combo. You know, one down throw dare, down throw up air could seal it for Down throw fair, easy hey. money. 
and oh no pivot feels good to feels good to get your first arc kill but to be honest the uh, UCLA crew is bleeding Severe needs to put up a, a hard stop and probably take another stock here to give the remaining players in the crew a chance yeah oh good deal on the forward tilt but can get hit by the up smash good chase down by Suvir. DI's in on that forward tilt <sighs> Down smash not close enough. Oh, that hurt. That See, hurt this is a hard see. situation. See, what? Getting cheek. Oh, wait. Okay, yo. No. I... Red Panda played that well, though. That's a hard situation, though. Red Panda just played that really well. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that that was so unfortunate to see. It's like Mark gets up, but just gets up just outside of Sheik's down smash and just responds by forward smash and hit. But good awareness on both of them. And yeah, on Red Panda Master's part. And is he going to be going against his third cheek, you think? Is the doctor uh, himself If I were UCLA, I I would probably do the cheek. I probably would, like... I mean... You think third I, I would the charm? I, well, I don't necessarily know if the Fox would be any better. <laughs> I feel like if Red Panda Master knows this matchup, they probably know the spacey one pretty well as well. You know, I feel like you yeah. learn the spacey matchup before you learn the Sheik matchup, so. Yeah, and honestly, your third, what are you really saving the third Sheik for at this point? Like, you think you're going to get a ton of mileage off of Puff Falco Fox matchup? Yeah, I think your you Fox will still have better. Okay, so they're sending tie in, so they are sending in the Fox. Okay, so, you know, don't want to give the guy who's completely warmed up against playing Sheik a third sheik to play against. I agree. Hopefully mixing it up might mix him up and give you the chance to open up their field a little bit. Very good stuff. UC San Diego, if I can put in a personal request, send us a custom logo because your crew is tearing it up in our circle and we would love to showcase, you know, we're happy to showcase our logo in time. Mm-hmm. Whenever you can, get that to us. All right, and please do stay tuned for after the stream. We are going to do a raid, so we're going to figure out who to raid. It's four loco nights, so we're going to raid someone participating in bracket, most likely. Yeah, and maybe if all the people still in bracket are just, like, not streaming, maybe we'll raid the main stream, get you guys to spam some emotes to the yeah. couple thousand people they've got in that chat. The raids always help. You know, we've gotten some good contact with some streamers who appreciate and got to know that intercollegiate slippy or that collegiate melee is alive and well. Scar was definitely happy to hear it when you guys hopped into his chat, asked us a ton of questions. So, you know, really happy for the support. And hopefully when we have more raids, you guys will keep spamming, spreading that web. All right, and it looks like we're going to get ready to go into it. Just a little warm-up going on. Oh, <laughs> All right, Pivot's coming up by Red Panda Master, demonstrating the, the Marth Tech skill. I'd be, see, if I was the other person warming up, I'd be scared. I'd be like, oh my god, is that Marth over there? Oh, I'll put it on. Both these players taking a nice, healthy warm up. Alright, looks like we're gonna get into it now. UCLA is getting pretty close to being shut out. They really gotta start pushing it here. Uh, Red Panda, Red Panda Master has to SD. There we go. Solid dropping some disrespect in the chat, Sam. That face when you want to play melee, but your player only needs two. Your team only needs two players to win. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good job, both players need to start in. Love to see it. Oh. Love to see it. And yeah. Red Panda Mask, I, I'm a, kinda already, both players just feeling themselves oh, out. Got right the now, jump but... there too with that up tilt. Oh, good pip, good dash dances. Up tilt, up air, up tilt, up it, oh, forward air, forward air! <gasps> oh! Okay, that was this nice. Man is, that was he's nice. too hot to go. I feel like he's just gotten like hit by lasers guy. in a couple, like, weak hits. <laughs> Guys have been uh, just, like, 
good day. And this is why I tell you not. I why I would recommend not sending in the, the fox. If a Marth knows the Sheik matchup, I bet you they know the Marth Fox matchup. It's 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 it was a it's a hard call, you know. Oh, great but, crouch cancel. Up tilt. Oh, love the wave land. <gasps> Falling up air. Up tilt. Forward air. Oh! Not again. That was crazy. Oh my god. Wait, can someone clip that? Because like I want to watch that so I can try and do it sometime. <laughs> Please clip that. Holy god. Dang. This guy's just too hot today. <laughs> yeah, oh the counter. Yes. Oh. Oh the no, they did the they did the back air attack. <laughs> Let's go tie. We take this. <laughs> Let's go tie, take one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Yo, I don't think he's taking another though. <laughs> UCLA. I don't think I think Red Panda Master is too hungry for blood. UCLA saying, "Man, we just scheduled this on a different day." <laughs> oh, the respect, good ledge cancel. Oh UC my God, wait, is what's the difference between ledge and edge? Is a ledge the one you hold on to, and an edge just the one that is at the end of a platform? I cannot tell you. I say both of them interchangeably, kind of in a bad commentary form. I'm starting to think, maybe that's, maybe that's an idea. Maybe the ledge is the thing you grab onto, and the edge is just the platform sides, because you can't grab the it. Edge. The platform yeah, has the edge. edges, but the stage has a ledge. Alright, well, good job by Ty to clean it up. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, well, we were <laughs> on a little tirade. Ty turned that battle around, and boy, was it needed with the crew battle standing 6 to 12. But, you know, if Ty can put on just as good of a performance as Red Panda Master did, I mean, maybe we, this crew battle will be tied up again. Alright, we got Cliché the Falco coming in. Do we know? How many stocks did Red Panda take? Is that 10? Uh, I don't know. Chat, anyone know how many stocks Red Panda took? I think he took 8 sheet stocks and 2 off of... And 2 off of 10. Seven. Okay. Might have. Yeah. Oh, oh. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. PhD, you better get. You better oh, get that's start a, warming up. A fat man. seven. Seven's a lot of stocks. Yeah. The seven is the seven's a great batting yeah, average. More than a third of the team, so. I wish I, mean. I had a batting average of seven. <laughs> <laughs> But I think the uh, center of the cliche probably is not going to get his chance to play in this crew battle. Not yet, at least. Both these players weren't up to the team, yet, but we do know that the stage will be stadium. Which is a spacey counterpick point. Stadium, such an interesting stage in Melee, you know, so many of them have three platforms and Stadium's just like, oh, I'll have two. I'll just do two. Oh, and by the way, I'll just transform as well. <laughs> Thank God we got rid of that. I know we couldn't no! have it online. I loved transformation. Oh my god, it was so annoying. People would just wait it out. And I would admit to being one of those people who just wait it out. Ready? Like, I mean, unless they're camping in the pit. But, I mean, people... Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just like, if this, if you, you both are like, far away from each other, and then the stage transforms, generally people are just gonna wait it out until it goes back to neutral before running at each other again. Unless you're really, rock, like, crazy. Rock transformation has its problems, but, I mean, I like all the other ones. Okay, some of the other ones are fine. I still think having it be asymmetrical is just so weird. Also, the lips in the ground. Weird stuff happens. Yeah, it's a badly programmed stage. But, but I think it's fine. Yeah, like, well, the problem is, like, we have to. If we want a Pokemon Stadium, I don't want to have to take transformations and, like, I, I just want this neutral, you know? Well, I could take Pokemon Stadium with transformations, but I also want this neutral. Like, just this. Uh, yeah, that's. If we ever get, you know, a centralized melee, like, I don't know, TO group, maybe we'll be able to implement this. Oh no, ne we're never bringing back transformations. Why would we bring them back? We don't need them. Uh, 
Yeah, that's that's the that's the hacks money, you know, hacks BP mentality. But like, money is money. But I mean, you've got a point, but you got to think about how four out of the five of the admins used to regularly attend Hacks' nightclub. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, myself included. Oh, did you also go? Yeah, I went to those bars, please. Oh, so Or not the. But regardless, going back into this match, cliches. He's doing a good job, but... Yeah, Cliché just wanted to finish it off. Just wanted to bring their team home, get some dinner, get some grub. Because it's, uh, it's like 6 o'clock, 6.30 in California, so... It's almost dinner time. Damn, that, that was really greedy. <laughs> this is a... I'm starting to think about how, like, strong CCSD is. Yeah. You know, they're, they're poised to, you know... Take their fourth game out of the four that they've played. And so they're up there with UMD, Temple University, and uh, Georgia Institute of Technology as I like. Mm -hmm. Oh my teams. god! Jeez, I don't know if that was intentional or an accident. Because the, they got the laser. They got the laser! <laughs> Well, with that, Dr. D's nuts, it's going to be your job to go up against the undefeated UC San Diego career. Can you lead this pen stock comeback? If, if, if this comeback happens, this, like, we've seen bigger amounts of stocks taken in a free melee and in a collegiate slippy, but. Probably this would be the biggest upset. Indeed. Wait, biggest upset? Oh, if if UCLA won? Yeah. 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 Hard, though. Yeah. No pressure, but mowing through 12 no stocks pressure. of the team that's put you in disadvantage is super hard. It is very, very difficult. Uh, Cliché is going to ban FOD. And everybody in the chat right now has gotten... View a lot of different Sheik matchups. Yeah, that that laser was swag though, Khaled. I I agree with you. But Not yeah, we're chat. just gonna wait for this next broadcast to come up. Uh, I'm assuming that if uh, Cliche loses, I feel like we're gonna see Khaled or or actually, yeah, I think we might see Khaled. That's that's kind of what I'm Khaled. feeling. Khaled's been itching to play, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Send him in. I mean, uh, might as well keep the fox as the anchor. I mean, let the puff have some fun with the sheik. Tire out the sheik too, because like, get oh, the sheik right. tired before playing the fox. Get them like into a slow mindset of neutral, and then the fox just rushes you down right after. I never thought about that, but like, yeah, the slower puff match is gonna like t mentally, maybe and physically also tire out the player. To soften them up for your anchor. I like that. I'll make. I'll relay that to the Columbia team. Make sure that we put Blizzard in like second to last to tire them out for maybe Whiskers anchor or something like that. Mm -hmm. But to all twenty of you who've joined us, at least twenty, I think. Sometimes the numbers don't update properly. Who've joined us tonight? Thank you for watching this full day of crew battles that we've had. We started out with a close, well, we started out the previous match with a close one, but this has been, it's been a story of UCSD showing us why they're undefeated. You know, I'm, I'll be excited to see who they're up against next week, see if we get them matched up against another undefeated team, what will happen. Well, we can see what their match is next week, actually. I think the schedule is already built for that. Next week, UCSD is going to play SBCC, which is Santa Barbara City College who have n not done well in the last few weeks. But you never know. Meanwhile, we've got... Who is UCLA playing? UCLA is going to be playing St. Louis University. Who... I can give you guys a check up right now. St. Louis University has... They are currently... <gasps> oh my god, wait a minute. Next week is University of Michigan versus University of Massachusetts Amherst. Oh. 
That'll be a good match. Those are both. Is UMA undefeated? Yeah, I think so. Let's yeah. check that. Oh, okay. Point. UMA is undefeated. Two, three and three, because I just won the last one. Gotcha. Yeah. So that lucky when is that match coming in? What time can people That's see? That's Sunday that? at 9 p.m. So literally just a week from this block, and we will have Michigan versus Amherst. Stay tuned for that. Yeah. That'll be exciting. So yeah. Set your alarm. Reddit bot reminds me in five in one week to come watch undefeated and the collegiate slippy teams play each other. On the flip side of things, UCLA will be playing SLU. Two teams with relatively the same record. Um, should be a close match. They'll be kind of fighting for closer spots on the leaderboard. One is ranked 16 right now. The other is number 20. Or one is ranked 16, the other is ranked 20. So. They'll, it'll be a close match. Okay, here we Look go. Look forward to another week in the Collegiate City. In the meantime, PhD's uh, nuts, holding everything for the team right now, holding all the marbles. They need to win this, and then they need to take out two more players. <laughs> they need to take out two more players. He's gonna have to really show us why he's a professor, or a doctor, what he does. Yeah. I mean, this is a doctorate of philosophy, you know. Think deeply about <laughs> these nuts. And you know, if you're if you the doctor these nuts right now, you're happy to see. But you know, I'm pretty sure uh, Doctor Dick is like actually a medical doctor. I think. Oh, you think? He's an MD. I, I, yeah, I think the doctor's supposed to be an MD, D, rather than yeah. I mean, I you know see. the argument, you, you can't, if someone has a PhD or an honorary doctorate, it's not an actual doctorate. Uh, no, I'm kidding. It, it, respect all doctorates. Respect, respect people who don't yeah. do that school. Except maybe some random musician who gets a doctorate for just like making a song. I don't think that's all yeah. legit. <laughs> but PhD's nuts. Able to not lose a stock and close out cliche. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's what you need to see. Yeah, two more players. And PhD's nuts didn't lose a stock, right? No, nope, he did not. It's nice. We're gonna be able to see these characters, these people just jump right into it. They're not gonna need to, you know, do weird neutral starts. Wait for forty-five or taunt. Looking at. Him. Yeah. This is, yeah, this has been a pretty fun... I'm looking back at this week of Intercollegiate Slippy, and we've seen some really entertaining matches. Um, last night, we had, what, UMD play? That was a ton of fun. Okay, Khaled's coming in. Uh, so he's finally getting his chance. He's being a little bit cocky earlier in the chat, saying, oh, look, my whole team can win without me having to play, but... We've got a shot here for a puff. Puff, pe puff sheet, four stocks to four. Do you think PhDs is going to take it, Lucky? Uh, gonna... I don't... Well, take this game, maybe. I think there's a decent chance they could take the game, but it's how much are they going to lose to take the game. And I'm expecting... Like, Two stock at least loss in this. Playing a puff that has four stocks, I think you're gonna lose two, especially on. Well, the puff's counter pick. Not gonna be Dreamland, I'm sure. I think the. Yeah, like... okay, let's see what PhD Might not. Ah. I mean. Yeah, I, I could also see Khaled taking it. You know, I've seen good performances out of everybody at the UC San Diego crew so far. Maybe these are evenly matched players. Mm -hmm. it'll, be, it'll be fun to see. I'm also kind of curious if anybody in the circuit is kind of like keeping track of who they play, who they beat, the size up, how they would fare in a singles tournament. Yeah. 
I mean, right now we don't have specific stock like remainders. You'd have to look through the match rosters to see how many stocks are remaining. But generally, we have a matchup chart where you can see who's played who. Yeah, but right here, this is like a perfect opportunity. You could pretend almost that this is a game one of a singles match. And yeah. if Kyle loses it, he'd be like, man, maybe I beat him in singles. Wait, are they playing now? No. <laughs> I no. Just, why are they hitting each other? <laughs> I think Khaled like just was AFK for the first like half of that. I think we're because we're waiting on PhD's nuts stage ban. Oh. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, because the fuck is like, what are you? What's your <laughs> stage ban? Because he's playing on stream, but he's not. Hasn't told us what. Where he does not want to play Paul. Probably Dreamland. I mean, you'd, you'd have to be crazy not to want to ban Dreamland. Puff's going to live so long on Dreamland. Yeah, I agree. Alright, uh, I guess we're waiting for the players. PhD Zuss has not responded in chat, so we're just chilling. Huge. When come back to us, tell us where you don't want to play Paul. I have no clue what they're doing now, though. I mean, yeah. Okay. Oh, what are we... what? What do? Why is Squirtle on the screen? What is happening here? You guys are both active. Like, both of you are moving on the slippy. I mean, I'm down to watch Pokey floats. I'm down to watch them play. Them. I mean, are they doing this? Lucky, we need to come up with a like a method, of, like a gameplay specific method of signaling counter pick bands. Like yeah, just... I just like we've added, we've pinged them. They're active. Like, what do they think is happening? <laughs> like yeah, like what do you, yeah, like uh, what is going through their head right now? Besides, uh, I might lose this next one and lose it for my school. <laughs> Like, pre-Slippy, you know, when you played on Anther's Ladder and you matched up with somebody, you'd, like, on the CSS screen, you'd just roll the C-stick to signal that you're ready. But we don't have those equivalents for Slippy as of right now. You can just taunt. Taunt is the only signal you can give your opponent. Oh my god, finally they come in right, a, right after I say, okay, no ban if they're not going to show up. And then right, they immediately after they come in and go, sorry, Dreamland. <laughs> <laughs> my man. Too, he's, he says he is too in the zone. My man is lost in the sauce. We're going FD. Okay, yep. Here we are. You know, the shenanigans before getting to this game is making me think are we ever gonna have a gentleman to pokey floats on spring Circuit? i thought we would but we have yet to see it i think we have yet to see where two players are really adventurous and want to try something fun Ooh. oh you don't want to take that as chic the punish here is so hard on puff what do you do you grab and you fair and then that's it yeah. because we're not you know we're not near the percentage for up smash to kill but this is a monstrous start by Cloud. Not that, you know, UCSD needs it, but this is great to just show that, hey, yeah. look, we don't need to I mean, just If you take two stocks, you've already you've done your job for your team, because you're already up. Let your teammate take another two. All the way. I mean, you should want to, but you should know that it's totally acceptable and fine if you can. But it's if you just break even, that's also, that's also exactly what you need. Oh, ooh. Cornered the Sheik. And I'm wondering what... I'm wondering what is going through PhD's that's mind right now. You know, don't outside of like... Uh, don't get rested. Don't get rested. Don't get rested. <laughs> and that's honestly what I think. When I'm playing Falco versus Puff, I'm thinking every time they up throw, please just do that. Although do for Sheik, I'm it. sure it's... Don't get up tilted. Don't get up tilted. <laughs> if they're crouching, don't boost grab. Oh my god, low profile oh. to grab. I mean, that's... Oh, there's the drill that, to grab. 
Getting your grab crouched under is in Sheik's nightmares. Oh no, time. down throw! That must have been a tech flop. <gasps> but gets the, wow. the down smash he's, on that neutral B. He's feeling himself going for the rollout. Yeah, oh I mean like, also it's, it's kind of threatening to a Sheik that's like, Oh my god, I'm like the last player on my team. I can't get hit by this rollout, otherwise I'm dead. And they might psych themselves out. Howard saying, look. Yeah, let's play a symbols match. I'm, oh. I'm winning the Oh! Clip that! Clip that right now! Oh my, oh my god. And congratulations to Khalid for being able to close out that game. Wait, did, that's uh, Khalid win. lost the stock? Yes or no? Yeah? He yeah, yeah, they lost it up there. Yeah, okay. But monstrous wow, seven, rest finish oh. to close out that crew battle. Wow, crazy. Dominate. Great job by UCSD, just proven once again why they're one of the top schools in the, bra in the circuit. Yeah, this is making me wonder. Hey, hey thanks for the follow, in. Jeff. Jeff from UCSD. Fresh off that hot you. victory. Yeah, congratulations to your team remaining undefeated. I'm really wondering, you know, where this is a team we're likely to see in top eight, I think, at the end of the season. Mm-hmm.